What's going on, everybody? This is gonna be a walk around of uh, my new truck I picked up a couple days ago. Uh, so uh, this is a 2022 Ford F-150 STX package with the five liter V8, 373 gears in the back with the locker. And this uh, cab and bed configuration is the uh, super cab with the six and a half foot bed. Uh, the color is space white. And I ordered this back uh, on December 18th of 2021, and it came in on March 31st, 2022, so a couple days ago. So uh, that being said, this is the STX package. So it has the STX grill with the paint matched uh, surround there with the piano black, I guess you can call it honeycomb grill. I think it's one of the, the best grills that they make for, for F-150s. Uh, you have the halogen headlights uh, with the auto high beam uh, and instead of it having a uh, LED bar here like the more premium models are this one's got chrome on the 2022s for some reason they stopped including fog lights unless you get the 20 inch wheel package which this one has the 18 inch wheel package so I don't have any fog lights. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed with that. Uh, when, I, when I ordered it at the time, the 2021s still came with fog lights with the 18 inch wheels. So that was a little bit strange uh, that they didn't disclose that. But uh, we'll see. I'm not sure how hard it's gonna be to put those in because that's definitely on the list at some point. As I said, the color here is space white. So I don't know how well it picks up on the camera, but it changes in different light situations. So in shade, it kind of looks like a gray color or a, or a kind of a blue, but in bright direct light situations, I guess, like here, it starts to look a little bit more white. So very, very cool, very, very cool color. So this truck came with the 18 inch sport wheel package. So I think that comes on the XLT normally, XLT sport. But that's what they look like. They're nice black with the machined front on them. I think it looks really nice. And the tires that it came with from the factory are Goodyear Wrangler, it says Territory AT tires. They look all right. It's definitely gonna be swapped out here soon though uh, with Something maybe a little bit more aggressive. As you can see here, you've got the black fin uh, fender vent with the STX logo on it. Comes with the cheaper mirrors, so there's no paint match here. And then this truck has got power and heated mirrors on both sides, I believe. Uh, but it does not have the blind spot monitoring, so you get the, the bubble uh, mirrors on both sides. Uh, this is the extended cab. Um, I'll show you the details more about that here in a second. Has the capless fuel system. And this truck does not have a bed liner in it yet. Uh, so apparently from the factory, at least in Kentucky, or uh, no, Kansas City, the, uh, the spray and bed liners cause like a two week delay. So I decided not to do that. This truck doesn't have the sliding back glass. I don't believe that's an option on the XLs or SX or STXs, uh, but it does have the defroster. Got your backup camera. This truck does not have the bed utility package or the inverter. So that's a really expensive option, but it does come with the coveted tie down slash bottle openers. So that's cool. This truck has a towing package, so got your seven pin and your four pin here. It's like every Ford for the past 15 years. Has the uh, lockable spare cover, so that's nice. And one other thing that they changed on the 22s is these are normal halogen 
uh, lights here instead of the LEDs. So kind of sucks. I wish that, you know, something that small would have been upgraded, but oh well. And uh, just like the headlights, this one's got the halogen tail lights. Moving up to the cab here. I only have one door handle. Uh, this truck has the black interior. Everything is very nice. Got your door handle here, just like the Super Ds they started doing a while ago. Uh, man, or, uh, it's got power windows, power locks. The back two windows are uh, just push and hold to adjust where you want it. And then the passenger and the driver are the one click down, one click up style. Uh, there's your mirror controls, lock, unlock. Let's open up the back here. The payload on this truck is, I actually don't know, 7050. So that's pretty good. And the uh, load capacity, I believe, is 3,800 pounds. Maybe reading that wrong, but pretty, pretty impressive numbers for a half ton truck, regardless. Half door it folds all the way back. So that's a pretty cool feature there. Plenty of space in the back here. Um, I'm kind of short, so my seat's pushed up a little bit. But um, anyway, it, there is decent legroom, at least for short trips. I wouldn't want to have anyone that's over five foot <laughs> sit back here for more than a few hours on like a long distance road trip. But that's not why I ordered this truck. Um, it does have there's some chalk neighborhood kids wrote on our driveway for some reason on april fools but uh <laughs> it's got the vinyl floor mats so uh on my last truck uh it was a lariat you can see videos about that on my channel but it had the carpet floor mats and i the first thing i did was put weather text in it so i just skipped that whole process completely it just got the vinyl all the way through and i think that's a really really cool feature in the back, you've got the single zone uh, AC, but you have the, uh, bullet, no, I saw the sticker on it. <laughs> it's got the uh, cigarette lighter there, and then underneath, it's got a uh, USB-C and normal USB. So that's cool, and you even get a little light. Two cup holders. There's no pocket on the back of the seats, which I thought was an uh, interesting choice. It's got this nice STX seat, which is an upgrade from the, just the base base. Um, it's pretty comfortable so far. Got your American flag right there. And let's hop inside and take a better look at everything. So, uh, since this is the STX, and I forget the package name, but it's like an upgraded uh, technology package. You get the Sync 4 system with the 8-inch uh, screen. You still have uh, pretty basic volume and tuning knobs, uh, as well as your different source codes. Uh, you know, that turns your screen off, forward uh, or reverse forward play uh, for your MP3 files. Single zone climate system. So you still have your manual knobs, which I like the feel of these knobs. Uh, it feels pretty. It's got like a rubberized coating coating on it, so it feels pretty durable. Um, but you've got your fan and your temperature and defrost, uh, yeah, defrost settings there. Rear defroster. This controls your power, and then just some pretty basic zoning, uh, as well as your circulation and AC compressor on and off. Now this truck does not have the auto start stop that was deleted from the factory. Uh, for like a $50 credit on the account, which was nice. And I got to avoid a lot of the chip shortages that are causing trucks just to sit up there for months at a time. So uh, if that was here, the auto start stop on and off button would be up here, but I'm glad that's not here. Uh, this controls your camera, hazards, traction control off. I'm looking over here actually. Uh, so this is going to be your four wheel drive and drive mode controls. So you have, these are all buttons here, but two high, four high, four low. This controls your driving mode. So it'll switch through a bunch of, uh, like slippery options or mud and ruts, sand, etc. Uh, and then this one truck does have the locker in the back. So if you push this, it'll lock the, 
the rear differential for better traction, integrated trailer brake controllers. That's a nice feature. Now I did order this truck with the center console in it rather than the third seat with the fold down console because number one, it I think it looks really dumb having that fold down thing with the headrest still sitting there. And number two, to upgrade to this very nice console, it only costs about $230, which is a very good value for this. Um, which makes the truck a lot more comfortable and to me a lot more useful. But you've got tons of storage, so you have a pretty big storage uh, compartment here. Pretty big storage compartment here. And this would normally be where in the higher trims uh, that have the fold out work surface, which this truck does not have, you'd have your column shifter here or uh, not column shifter, uh, your center console shifter, I should say, and uh, it'll fold down into this hole here, which they just cut that out and you get a really big storage compartment. I guess this is for holding pens, but I put my phone in it because this truck has Apple CarPlay, so I don't have a use for having a phone mount anymore, which is nice. Uh, keeps my eyes on the road a little bit more, um, but I just slide it in there, two cup holders, and then you have this massive center console here. Uh, with the sliding doodad there, which is kind of cool. Moving back over here, you have your uh, different controls here. So on the left side, you have your uh, cruise control settings. So that's all here. This is the lane keeping assist, which I normally just keep off because I, it bugs me. Um, this is the volume up and volume down, which is different from my last truck. All of the sound and volume and everything was on the right side, but they've moved that over here. And then this is your voice command, which goes to this microphone right above you. On this side, you've got your back. This is the controls for the center screen right there. So if you're back, up, down, okay, menu button, uh, this is your track forward and back. And then this is your... Uh, wireless calling button down over here you have your bed lighting button and then this controls your different lighting settings i normally just run it on auto for right now and i haven't had any problems with it on this side on the passenger side uh they for the 22 model which again was never disclosed to me which is kind of annoying but whatever um they stopped including the flip up door that covers the storage area which to me that's kind of i mean it's pretty disappointing that can't be that expensive and the problem is that this would be an excellent place to put you know napkins or you know just real small stuff that you can get to easily and then if it had the door, you could close it and it would still look really good. But now I'm probably never going to use this for anything really because it just looks like crap whenever you put anything in there. It just looks like trash. So um, Ford, kind of disappointed in you about that one. And you've got your locking glove box down here with no light, which they deleted that as well. And then this compartment also locks right here, I believe, which is a very cool feature for if you put uh fun toys in here so up here there's no mirror on the driver's side uh visor and the f like this is almost in my face basically but this visor is so big that you could basically just block your entire field of view with it which i think is pretty funny uh sunglass holder up here and then you've got your map lights and uh, there's a little blue LEDs that run constantly up there, which is really cool. Uh, the passenger side does have a mirror, but there's no light. And that about wraps it up for inside. Now, let's close this up here. Now, let's talk about modifications here because I've got a list of them that are going to be happening. So... Um, first thing is tint. I've got an appointment for the next Friday. The plan is to get 15% all around. Now this truck does have the privacy glass in the back, but I'm going to put the 15 over the privacy. So it should knock that towards basically limo tint, which is what I want for the back. Uh, I don't want people seeing inside and then 15 on the front two windows. 
a 5% brow across the top, and then I'm still on the fence, but I think I'm going to get a 50% uh, windshield tint and see how that is. I've always wanted windshield tint, but I've never felt like paying for it on an older truck. Since I'm, I think I'm going to keep this, well, I know I'm going to keep this truck for a while, I want the tint on there just to make it easier for driving at night or <laughs> driving during the day when it's real sunny. And then hopefully at night, there's a lot of people that drive on, you know, I kind of live out in the country a little bit, but uh, on the back roads, people just drive with their high beams and it's just miserable. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, yeah, so tent, that's getting done next week. I'm gonna be getting a toolbox of some kind. I haven't decided, I wanna get a cam locker, um, but those things are just so expensive. <laughs> um, and I'm sure they're super nice, but I'm I'm still on the fence. I don't know. It, it's one of those cry once or buy once, cry once type of deals. But uh, I don't know how much I want to cry for that. Uh, and then I'm going to get a, a Line X spray and bed liner as well. Wheels and tires. Uh, probably going to keep those wheels. I think they look really good. And then at some point, I'm going to get something maybe a little bit bigger, a little bit more aggressive. And then a leveling kit is going to be in the works uh, at some point i just need to find who i actually want to contract to do it you know some shops will quote me like oh yeah we can do it for 800 bucks and uh, that just seems excessive and then there's other ones that'll do it for 500 so i just need to make a decision about where i want to get that done but um but yeah that's about it um i really like this color i really like this truck so far it drives super smooth pretty powerful it's got the 10-speed transmission in it so the i'm still kind of getting used to that but uh you know it shifts pretty smoothly now the with the gearing and the engine and the transmission setup on the lower gears so like if you're just trying to you know kind of coast along between uh, you know, you're driving like five to ten miles an hour or something like that trying to keep it real slow the truck can't really hasn't really figured out what gear it wants to be in so you'll switch between like first and second and third gear and just keep fluttering between those three um at least that's what it seems like to me um uh, but you know out on the freeway or the highway once it gets in 10th gear it's just all power all there and it's pretty quick gas mileage on this so far well i've only put like <laughs> maybe like 200 miles on it i'm still i haven't even put gas in it myself it's still running off the dealership gas so um, but any almost half a tank I've burned through, I've gotten like almost 19 miles a gallon, and that's on highways, city, and backcountry. So that is a massive improvement over my last truck, which averaged about 13. So with the way gas prices are right now, I'm going to take that and run with it because that's way better. But anyway, well, uh, that is the, that's my 2022 F-150. And I'm going to be including, uh, you know, making a lot, a lot of videos on this as I kind of modify it and tweak it. So, and last thing, if anybody knows where you can get the, you know, XLT Lariat Platinum headlights and fog lights, let me know. I know those are super expensive, so I'm going to be switching those out at some point. But if anybody knows where I can get them easily, let me know, as well as if anyone has put uh fog lights in these trucks yet so anyway well that's it that's a wrap so uh please like and comment and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one thanks and gig em.